Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this speed run guide for Moe's, I'll cover his best relics, light cones, team composition, rotations, pros and cons, and whether he's worth building. Sit back and relax, and if you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Do you have a character or light cone in the game that you really want, but you don't have enough stellar jades? Fortunately, lootbar.gg allows you to buy stellar jades at a discounted rate for all regions. Lootbar is one of the fastest and most reliable recharging platform with attractive discount rates. For an example, I will buy the 1980 Stellar Jade package for $26.40, which otherwise would have cost me $29.99, saving me a total of 20%, and also new users get an additional 5% off. To purchase, simply enter your UID and region and to receive your package in less than 30 minutes. All recharges are done through the official channel with MiHoYo, which allows you to enjoy all top-up offers. Now you will be ready to get your favorite characters. Check the link in the description and pinned comment to get the amazing discounts. I won't delve into his abilities since I assume everyone knows how he works. For an overview, Mose has the lightning element and follows the path of Hunt. He's a 2-in-1 DPS sub-buffer unit similar to Topaz. Plus his skill point neutral. Overall his Eidolons have one of the highest multipliers for a 4-star unit. You do want him at E2 for him to work as a sub-DPS buffer for the 40% crit damage buff for all allies. Building Mo's Body, crit rate or crit damage, depending on your light cones if they give crit rate or not. Boots, attack percent. 4 total stats. Aim for 70% plus crit rate, some speed if you need it, crit damage and attack percent. Mo's doesn't need speed boots due to his inbuilt action forward. But for him to go first before your main DPS, for example, if Fei Xiao is at 146 SPD, Mose will need 2 speed to be at 146.3 speed. For him to go before Fei Xiao on every cycle, if for some reason your Fei Xiao is at 160 speed, Mose will need 127 speed. Attack percent is almost as good as crit damage even if you're running Robin. As both crit damage and attack percent is saturated on Mose, hence go for the relic pieces that have one higher offensive substat roll. Relic Set The only set you should go for is either Grand Duke or Pioneer. For Grand Duke, Moses Altai would set the stacks to 1 as his ultimate is counted as FUA, but his follow-up attack is able to get the max attack bonus from it, making it still slightly stronger than Pioneer. Planar Ornament Rope Attack Percent over Energy Regan Orb Lightning Damage over Attack Percent Here are the DPS differences. If you're running swordplay, going for attack percent is fine, but for any other light cones, it's a must to slap on lightning damage. Planar set. Duran straight up has the highest DPS output. Salsado and Azumo fall off quite a little, but both of them will allow you to hit 70% crit rate easily. It's better to perfect Feishao's relics over Moses. Moving on to his light cones. Last place. Silence is only good if you are only facing two enemies for you to build 24% less crit rate. Sleep Like the Dead is decent, but there are better options. Second place, Swordplay has the highest DPS output at S5 with zero downsides due to Moses' FUA attack count. Stellar C is good but Feixiao, or your main DPS unit, will steal the kill where you will pretty much never see that 40% bonus attack buff. Final Victor is better than Stellar C if you're able to hit 70% crit rate. Seal's Light Cone isn't that good due to Moses not needing much speed. First place, Topaz's Light Cone if you have it for some reason without Topaz. Ratio Light Cone has the highest DPS output. It would be better if you're running a venture in with Trend Light Cone. Here are the DPS calculations. For F2P players, Swordplay is insanely good. But it's better to slap it on Feixiao or another DPS instead. For Light Cone ranking, if you're able to hit 70% crit rate with Final Victor, it will be better than Stellar C. If not, it would be the other way around. For his team composition and rotations. His best team would be the premium FUA setup with Feixiao. You may replace Aventurin with Lingsha or Gallagher. You could replace Robin with Topaz, but there are way better teams out there. You may also run Moe's instead of Topaz for Dr. Ratio. Before you build Moe's for Feixiao. The gap from Topaz is just 9.3% better compared to Moe's if you aren't running Aventurin. Hence, Topaz isn't a must at all. Not to mention the most F2P option for your account is to run a Bronya E1 or S1 with Hunt March. Since you don't have to pull for Robin, and you can even run Robin with March too. If you have decent relic investment, any of these teams will not affect your cycle clear most of the time. Well it might if you're running Sparkle. It just all comes down to your personal preference and playstyle. Pros. S tier. F2P friendly. 
2 in 1 DPS and buffer at E2. Tons of attacks. Skill point neutral. Easy to play with. Great replacement for Topaz or March for Facio. Cons. Relies on Eidolons for higher DPS. Mose's value drops a ton without Facio. March E6 is free and equal to Mose for Facio teams. She's also more versatile. Should you build? If you already have Topaz or Built Hunt March for Facio, nah, you don't need Mose. If you like his design and playstyle more compared to March, yes. Overall, I would rate him an 8 out of 10 unit for Facio teams. But outside of that his value drops a ton where he would be a 5 out of 10 unit instead. Let me know your thoughts down below on whether you're building for Moe's. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it really helps out a ton. And that's it for this guide.